So what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Uh, personally, guys, to be honest with you, I think, sincerely, I think that Amali need to retrace his step back and seek for forgiveness. Because I can't imagine, uh, I can't imagine myself facing such huge problem at the same time. This guy has a pending case with EFCC. He has a pending case with NDLEA. He has a pending case with the Nigeria police. Only you. And apparently, this guy is not even allowed in UK. Apparently, oh, not even allowed in UK. Whenever he's going to see his family, he's stop in France, and then family will come there to see him. Only this guy. And again, uh, you know, we all make bad choices in life, and uh, if those choices come back to haunt us, honestly, we just have to have ourselves to blame. That Amali has himself to blame. So yesterday, according to the uh, Nigeria police, when they were talking about the whole, uh, the whole issue that has to do with Mobad, the end result, the people they indicted, those they actually uh, brought forward to interview and interrogate about 26 persons were interviewed by Nigeria police and five of them were indicted. Naramali and Sam Larry were indicted. Then this other guy, Prime Boy, was also indicted. Then there is this other guy, Speeding, that's his name, was also indicted. And the auxiliary nurse was also indicted as well. They are all liable. The five of them are all liable. Well, but I want to focus on Naramali. Naramali, while was, he was uh, in the UK, you know, grew up in the UK. He wasn't born in the UK. He was born in Nigeria, but traveled to the UK, grew up there. He was actually a gangster. Well, people who know Naramali will tell you that Naramali is well known in a special community in the UK. Like, he's a lord there because this guy has been arrested more than 100 times. More than 100 times. Just imagine somebody getting arrested. More than 100 times, guys. Well, and uh, it's just crazy. I don't want to play the video because I think you guys have already watched the video and, and what the Nigeria police said yesterday concerning the Mobas case and why they are indicting Naramali. Naramali is a very close friend to Sam Larry. They are not just friends, they are business associates. They are not just business associates, they are in the same court group. They are not just the same court group, they know each other well. Like, they run things with each other well. And again, it's quite unfortunate for Naramali and very fortunate for Mubad that when he was alive, he made the video severally and he said oh at the leader if anything happened to him they should hold naramali responsible who naramali responsible i know you guys see uh, there is a very huge lessons for you guys to learn from this so do not just watch and just watch for fun there is a huge lesson for you guys to learn to learn from this it's not only when you physically you physically kill someone that actually mean that you are guilty of murder. No, there are some things that you must have done over the years towards that person. And if that person make a video or make a case against you, you're already in big trouble. You're already in big trouble. If anything happens to that person, you'll be the first person to be arrested until you clear yourself in the, in the court. So now, when Naraman is currently dealing with that matter. Then yesterday, NDLE, uh, sorry, EFCC brought their own yesterday. According to the news, they say more rules for Naramali has called issued production warrant against Naramali over internet fraud. Justice Nicholas Owamba of the Federal High Court sitting in Ikoi, Lagos on Friday, October 5, 2023, issued a production warrant against Naramali singer Aziz Fashola 
also known as Naramali. Naramali is being prosecuted by the Economic and Economy and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC) on 11 count charges bordering on conspiracy and credit card fraud. <laughs> well, guess. Well, let me see. Let me tell you something. Those judiciary, those courts, those judges, they are all human beings. Mm -hmm. And some of them might be sympathizing with uh, Mubad. You know, they might just decide, like, you know what, this is a case that we should easily just, you know, just overlook. But since it involves Naramali, we're still going to get him. So even if Naramali succeeded, leaving Mubad's case, like finally beating Mubad's case, as soon as is done beating Mubaz's case. Naramali will be arrested again to beat EFCC. To beat EFCC. So the question now is, from the bottom of your heart, do you think Naramali can beat both cases? Do you think Naramali can beat Mubaz's case if they go to court? Because according to them, they are only Liba is that the only thing they are backing on in Aramali Assembly is that they were not in Nigeria. They were not in Nigeria when that incident happened to Mubad. Sam Larry apparently was in Kenya and Aramali was somewhere. People were saying it was in France, some others were saying it was in Netherlands. So, do you think they are going to beat the case? Because the only thing they have to back on was that they were not in Nigeria when the whole issue happened to Mubad. Okay, but one thing is that how come the two of you, the two of you, you guys were in Nigeria at the same time? How come? Is it that you guys have already planned the whole matter? You guys already planned the whole issue that we have put over bad, and you guys just decide to just move after you have already set up how the thing will go? Because when Mobad had a fight with Prime Boy and he sustained some injury, it took two days before the auxiliary nurse came. Two days before the auxiliary nurse came to Mobad's house to treat Mobad. Why didn't they go to hospital? And again, there is a very huge lesson for you guys to learn. If your man is sick, if your friend is sick at your place or in his place and you visit, please do not invite a nurse. Do not invite any nurse to come treat him. Don't do <laughs> because the guy who invited that nurse to come treat Mobad, that guy is also lying. He's in jail currently. Do not invite any nurse. Advise your friend, let's go to the hospital. In fact, even put your life, put your, your freedom at risk. Tell your friend, I will drive you to that hospital. Go to that hospital and take proper treatment. Go to that hospital and take proper treatment. So be just the way you are being entertained. Also try as much as possible to learn few lessons. Do not be carried away. Learn few lessons as well. Well, do you think Naramali will beat all these cases? Because Naramali, let us be honest. I'm not saying it's guilty, but Naramali. If you talk about the EFCC case, that Amali was formerly, apparently might be, because I do not want it to come directly for me, might be a froster then, but not now. And if you talk about the Mobad case, the guy is not innocent. That Amali and Sam Larry may not have been the people who actually Feel more bad, but they made more bad life unbearable. And more bad already made a video that if anything happened to him, 
ya syuhun ala mali ya samal ma'ku wa ala ah no just only that as well not just only that it might be according to conspiracy theory it might be that ala mali ala samlari already planned the whole thing before they traveled so the police have to know the exact time they traveled when they traveled and when the matter actually happened now we are waiting they are going to charge them to court and they will clear themselves in court police may have finally done their work so they will just wait they will just wait charge them to court and they will go there to clear themselves in court but i do not think uh, at least at least at least naramali and samlari might get a jail sentence that is bailable a jail sentence that they can bail themselves out they cannot just go free like that they must get a jail sentence that okay they will say you are going to jail to two years and then but you'll get a bail for so amount and the uh, community service and other other things will follow well, let's watch and see the case, how the case is going to be. Thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.